So I was playing croquet with my uncle last night. What? I got a new high score. It's weird, man. It's crazy. <coughs> okay, all right, guys. Time to settle down, settle in, and begin. We're going to learn about SAT prep today. Be ready. I asked you to pick up a few books. I see that you do, in fact, have these books. One of them is Simple Justice. With, uh, Highway to America. Highway to America. Industrial Relations in a New Age. Excellent, that's great. Go over the homework real quick. Uh, if you guys want to answer for me, question one. Who invented the light bulb? Thomas Edison. Edison. Thomas Edison, yes, Thomas Edison, okay. Question two. Who invented the telephone? Yeah. Well, my daddy said it was Alexander Graham Bell, and he went to MIT, so, you know. That's right, that's correct. Yes. But wasn't it Louis Latmir, the African-American? I mean, he invented the light bulb and telephone, but he needed nine white American signatures to get the patent. I mean, well, that's not what's in the book. So. Alexander Graham Bell is in every single book. I think the books are lying. If we gotta learn it to pass this test, you need to learn what's in the book. Okay, we only learn what's in the book. It's important. It's... You it's, saying we're not important? Do you want to pass this test? I'm sick of these lies. Lies? The national dropout rate among African Americans is 60% in the United States. Courses that cater to providing an enriching and encompassing historic background like Afro-AM courses struggle to retain things like funding and bodies to keep these courses available. These devastating statistics are perpetuated by ahistoric pedagogies in our education system. We must first acknowledge and teach the mistakes made in our past in order to truly invoke positive social change for the future. All history matters.